Originally, Oxborough Lake was a shallow wetland before development in the area. Back 150 years ago or so when the area was settled, we probably lost a lot of topsoil that was washed away into the lake just due to the farming practices back then. Fast forward into the late 50s, early 60s when Bloomington was really starting to develop. A storm sewer trunk line was hooked up to the lake, primarily for flood protection and water quality treatment. And then after it leaves Oxborough Lake, it actually heads straight directly to Nine Mile Creek. So really Oxborough Lake is its last opportunity to do any kind of treatment before that water reaches the creek. The main goal of this project is to improve the function of Oxborough Lake as a stormwater treatment basin. As stormwater runs off our impervious surfaces, it picks up sediment along the way and nutrients and other debris and uh, travels down our storm sewer system and eventually reaches Oxborough Lake. Given enough time as that water passes through Oxborough Lake, that suspended sediment can settle out. And the goal is to have that settle out before it reaches the outlet and heads down the next set of storm sewer system to Nine Mile Creek. Over the past 70 years, Oxboro Lake has really done its job in protecting Nine Mile Creek, and we've reached a point now where the basin has filled up with sediment to the point where its ability to improve water quality has been greatly reduced. So now we're going to have to go in there and reestablish the volumes of that lake and bring the lake back down to its original lake bottom. To do that, we have to remove about 65,000 cubic yards worth of sediment. A project of this size doesn't really happen overnight. We've spent probably 10 plus years planning and researching in order to make this happen. The council awarded the project to Fratalone Companies out of St. Paul. They're a large excavating company with uh, the means and the experience to handle a project of this size. There's two areas of excavation on Oxborough Lake. There's really the, the north quarter of the lake that we're going to be doing some work and then about the south half. They started back in December. They had to remove about 15 million gallons of water. After the majority of the water was removed, they had to come in and clear the trees at the access points for the lake. And then also all of the trees below the 803 contour as we're going to reestablish the normal water line. After that, they've been mainly working on freezing down the lake bottom, just turning dirt up and windrowing it, trying to get this lake bottom as hard and frozen as possible. Uh, the idea is to have the trucks drive directly onto the lake bottom and be loaded from the excavators and then they can haul it off site. The contractor hopes to finish the project this winter, but they have the option to span over two winters if they can't get it all this year. It's really weather dependent. There's a lot of risk when we get these melting events or warm weather days and raining or anything like that it can really set them back days if not weeks. After the contractor is done removing all of their sediment and all their excavation, they'll come through and they'll restore all the areas disturbed by construction with native seed mix. We'll plant a few trees throughout the project. We're going to create wildlife habitat and structure by partially submerging a few trees along the edges of the lake. After that's done, we're just going to wait for the snow melt and you know a few rainstorms and then the lake should return to normal water levels. We hope to not have to come in and do a project like this for the next 50 years or more. With improved street cleaning methods and better construction practices, this hopefully lasts a long time. Oh.